Ever consider that the music industry's flash and glamour may be a front for something evil? Secret artist from Bad Boy Records, Tanya Blount has emerged from the background and isn't holding back. Diddy is being accused by her of nothing less than career assassination. And what's this? She says she has solid proof. Welcome to our channel Celeb Zone. We're discussing a hot issue today. I'm referring about Tanya Blount, a former Bad Boy Records musician who has leveled some serious accusations against music tycoon Diddy. Folks, she also alleges that Diddy has a habit of ruining the careers of his artists. The narrative deepens and more darker. There are rumors of abandoned projects, job terminations, and inexplicable celebrity disappearances of artists. The only one being singled out is Diddy. Whether you like Diddy or not, stay tuned because what I'm going to reveal will surely surprise you. No one is feeling the craziness of these online streets more than Diddy at the moment, you know? His name is widely known on social media, but not for the reasons he would want. Formerly promising performer Tanya Blount, contracted to Diddy's Bad Boy Records, has leveled some serious charges. She is blaming Diddy specifically of destroying her music career as well as not only her own. She has a long list of musicians she claims were harmed by Diddy's, um, career mismanagement. People. She is making some very serious accusations, and she's providing some hot details to support them. She asserts that Bad Boy Records was a graveyard for talent, a revelation that has the internet buzzing. Because this isn't the first time we've heard something similar regarding Bad Boy Records, the story is much more interesting. Many people have noted a peculiar pattern of musicians joining with the label only to appear to disappear from the music industry over time. As a result, this is the exciting part. Blount doesn't only claim that Diddy's terrible management caused these musicians to fail. She claims that everything was done on purpose. That's accurate. Blount said that Diddy wasn't simply ineffective in his job. He was intentionally undermining these artists, which caused them to leave the business. Blount may come to mind. Back then, she had a deal with Bad Boy. She was about to get her big break, but it never materialized. She's now telling her side of the tale, years later. There are endless streams of tweets, postings, and comments about it on the internet. This is not simply a flimsy, short-lived rumor. Diddy is feeling a lot of strain as a result, especially considering the recent controversy that is already engulfing him. However, the narrative doesn't finish there. Tanya Blount insists Diddy didn't just let these musicians down. In essence, he led them out of the business entirely. She is certain that he was the motivation behind their leaving, whether it was via mistakes, deceit, or open sabotage. Okay, let's investigate this. Tanya Blount, who signed with Bad Boy Records in 1996, is here, young and ready to take on the music industry. Imagine if Diddy himself expressed interest in your work as a young, unproven artist. It's a reality, isn't it? Blount thought she had made it rich. Diddy was making every effort to get her in the studio to record some tunes, setting her up with well-known producers. Strong momentum gave the impression that anything was possible. Then, though something changed, Blount claims that Diddy's passion for her initiative started to dwindle. The album, which once appeared to be headed for greatness, began to wane. Days grew into months, which then grew into years. She suddenly found herself in an undefined state, watching her dreams slowly end. Blount claims that everything got off to a great start. Then my idea was abruptly abandoned. It seemed as though he lost interest. Pressure started to increase. Blount perceived herself as being trapped and abandoned by a system. She expresses her mounting annoyance at not feeling like her voice was being heard and at having her album, her emotions, and her soul ignored. This sense of desolation and alone took a sinister turn. Blount boldly admitted that this time in her life was so difficult that she made an attempt at suicide. The last strike follows. She was dropped by the label in the early 2000s after years of dissatisfaction. The lady who was once hailed as the next great thing was instantly forgotten, her music career in ruins. Blount left the music business after this turbulent time, and not just for a short while, but for an incredible 15 years. In the realm of music, that is a lifetime. Eventually, Diddy stepped out to disclose who he really was. She's conveying more than just her own story, too. Another name that appears regularly in this story is Craig Mack. So let's go back in time and shed some light on his situation. You may recall Mack from his recent big single, Slava, in Ye Air. Diddy was supporting Mack at the time, promoting his songs and positioning him as the up-and-coming star. But then along came Biggie Smalls, a compelling character with an undoubtedly alluring cadence. Biggie was quickly elevated to the position of Bad Child Records' new golden child once Diddy noticed something in him. Mac, 
once the face of the label started to fade into the background, and when Mac chose to change his management, problems developed. This action apparently didn't sit well with Diddy, which increased hostilities. Mac was under strain since he had to balance the demands of his label boss's expectations with career decisions. Here's when things start to get interesting. According to Diddy, he was creating an album for Mac. This would have been a big relationship, giving Mac the chance to take back the limelight. Blount, though, said that this was all smoke and mirrors. She said that everything was a lie. The album didn't exist. He was simply left dangling by Diddy. Finally, there was a divide. The partnership that had previously appeared so promising was broken when Diddy fired Mac from Bad Boy Records. Mac was left to fend for himself in the competitive music business. Max failed to repeat his first success after leaving Bad Boy. It appeared as though Diddy and Biggie Smalls were riding the hip-hop celebrity wave while he had been abandoned, allowed to fall into disappearance. Let's now focus on Shine, a different musician involved in the Diddy scandal. Now, his tale is a crazy trip, full with scandal, criminality, and grave repercussions. Shine was involved in a shooting that altered the path of his life and career. He received a harsh reality for someone with potential in the rap game, a 10-year jail term. Here's when Diddy enters the picture. Blount claims that Diddy exploited Shine as a scapegoat in order to shield himself from legal consequences. In this instance, a comment from an interview with Shine stood out. I was devoted to the wrong guy, he once stated. These are stern remarks, a declaration of treachery that singles out Diddy. But what actually happened? Diddy was never prosecuted despite there being rumors that he may have been a second gunman in the incident. These are serious accusations, and even if they have not been proven, they do have many unanswered issues. Did Diddy participate in the event? Was Shine made to bear the blame? Blount argues that Diddy didn't do his part to support Sheen's defense. It is said that Diddy hired ineffective attorneys for Shine, potentially placing him at a disadvantage in court. But it goes farther than that. Blount claims that Diddy could have even bought the testimony of witnesses against Shine. Once more, these are grave allegations. And while we cannot corroborate their veracity, they definitely give the narrative a new level of complexity. Shine was dropped from Bad Boy Records and fired from the record company while he was incarcerated. That's a tough bargain, to be sure. You couldn't help but wonder what was happening in the background. There are no restrictions on what Shine would do, as he has stated, to clear himself. I was hoping that he would stop lying when I had the Bible in front of me. Shine has admitted that he was deceived by Diddy. This opinion supports Blount's claims, pointing to a pattern of conduct that is less than favorable to Diddy. Blount maintains that Diddy did not follow any legal counsel and acted in his own self-interest. If this is accurate, it depicts a guy who is more concerned with safeguarding his empire than his artists. With all the details that has since come to light, it is now very obvious that Tanya's bombshells have ignited a fire in the discussion surrounding Diddy and Bad Boy Records. People, her charges are not being dismissed. They are making an impact, and people are reacting. I've seen the tweets, postings, and comments, and it appears that the public is criticizing Diddy and how he has treated his musicians. The music mogul is facing a tsunami of opposition, with some even calling him the career killer. In spite of all the complaints though, several points stick out. Diddy's efforts to rebrand and reinvent his identity are being observed by the public. A user by the name of Ray Priola Tychek noted that Diddy has changed his name more frequently than his musicians' labels. What is he concealing? Is this the Diddy we know and love? It seems like some are questioning. Or is it just a disguise that conceals the true guy beneath? Then there is Bad Boy Records' reputation. The label, once a titan in the music business, now appears to be under a cloud of doom. There aren't many musicians signed to it that have found success. In reality, as many fans are speculating, it is apparent that none of the artists Diddy signed are currently enjoying success. There's always been a red flag with Bad Boy. Deafening quiet prevails. However, not everyone is persuaded by Tanya's claims. There are others who are suspicious of her motivations. Does she really mean what she says? Or is this just a case of resentment? This skepticism was expressed by a YouTube viewer who said, sounds like Tanya's got an ax to grind. Is justice a concern? Or is she only resentful? This demonstrates that there is some skepticism still present. Tanya's comments have undoubtedly sparked controversy and given rise to more questions than they have provided. As a result, there is now a gap between supporters and detractors that is only widening. Folks, this drama is far from done. In reality, it's only getting warmer. There will undoubtedly be more revelations of secrets, more charges made, and more discussions stirred. This is a tale that has engulfed the music industry, and it doesn't appear like the storm will let up anytime soon. 
I welcome you to join the discussion as we wait for the dust to settle. Share your ideas, hypotheses, and viewpoints. What do you think about these claims? Do you support Diddy, or do you take Tanya's side? Keep in mind that this story is not simply about fame and money. It is about the hardships and sacrifices made by artists in a field that may be equally brutal and attractive. It concerns the quest of music as well as truth and justice. Don't forget to like and share. Also subscribe our channel for latest videos. Thanks for watching our video.